Hello everyone and welcome to Hermitcraft. Today our goal is simple. We need to finish up the outside of the firework factory. So you guys saw last time we finished up the front part with the deep slate and the concrete colors heading into the heavens and then we got the firework on the side. But we need this not on one side but on all sides and as you can see we're not quite there yet. We got some concrete that's missing. We need some more colorful streaks. We need some more deep slate. We got to bring these like layers over here. And then of course, you know, the backside also missing quite a number of colors, 13 of 16. And then this side as well needs a few extra colors. We also want to make sure the roof uh, works pretty well because yeah, <laughs> we're not seeing a whole lot of colors intersecting up here right now, are we? So this is going to be a much more colorful thing by the time we're done. And of course, we need the chicken farm to transform from a blob of iron into its own firework rocket. So, that's what we're going to try and do today. Let's make it happen. Well guys, the bad news is we ran out of concrete. The good news is, Fulsa's shop is here to save the day. Concrete selling for three diamonds per stack. Also glow lichens, three diamonds per 32. We might grab some of those. Let's get out our diamond box right here. And we should have enough diamonds to cover what we need, given our diamond mining excursions recently. Uh, so we're gonna need, I think, some more pink dye. We're gonna grab, let's just grab three stacks of each. One, two, three, there we go. And then let's grab, I think we're gonna need, ba, ba, ba. is there any miscellaneous colors left? No miscellaneous colors left. Let's just buy up this white concrete powder. And I guess just all these, yeah. Uh, I think this will be enough. Sweet, there we go. Okay, concrete purchased, very good, very good. That should uh, allow us to Finish up that build, and then we got glow lichen. We're gonna get one, two, three of these as well. Uh, actually, you know what? Four, five of these. There we go. So now three per. Fill those in, and we're good. Thank you, false. All right, everyone. So as you can see here, we got the fireworks factory exterior now done and it's looking pretty good. I think it's kind of cool that those little like stair things we put in there make it look like the from the side, at least there's like a wave in the colors that go up, which kind of make it look like it is actually like the trails from rockets that are shooting up. You can see that if I look at this from the side like this, see how it sort of like looks like it's waving a little bit, especially when you're moving. Um, Kind of a cool little, like, optical illusion, and I think helps to, yeah, facilitate this uh, factory a little bit more. We also put down lighting on this, so you can see some glow light in here. And we got the big firework made on top that hides the chicken farm up here. If we land on this, you can hear some of the chickens in there laying eggs. And then, of course, we have the rocket exhaust down here made of glass and cobwebs and things. And you can see there are, in fact, some chickens in there. Floating on down, growing up, getting ready to uh, yeah, be removed of their feathers for the feather farm uh, aspect of the farm down below. So that's really cool. Uh, the only issue is in this uh, area right now, it's that we can't get inside the factory <laughs> unless we just bust a hole in the wall like this. So we're going to have to find a new way in to this area. Uh, I'm thinking right now, currently, the way we are going to do that for the moment is we're just going to basically use the jump boost that we get from the beacon. Maybe carve out an area here and then come in like this. But it could be fun to do something cool with the pistons. Uh, make like an interesting door here where, you know, these stairs retract or somehow or otherwise like moved over or out or behind uh, to make a fun door. It might also be cool to have like if you launch a firework, then the door opens. Uh, but 
We're definitely going to need some way to get inside here without the ability to fly. Um, so probably like an elevator or something like that inside here. Uh, however, I have been making some fireworks. Uh, if I just float up here. So in this fireworks factory, we've been doing a lot of fireworks creation. Uh, more specifically, we've been making up some, let's see, some good fireworks. Yeah, these are the fireworks that we're going to be like mass producing here. So um, we've already made a bunch of premium firework shop uh, chest fireworks. Those are already in the shop. But we've been making these. The Welcome to the Dark Side and the uh, Mint Chocolate Creeper fireworks. Let me just show you what these are about. So Welcome to the Dark Side. If we put it in here. Uh, we got ourselves a gray firework that fades to black which is kind of neat right there sort of like an empire strikes back sort of vibe uh then we got the mint chocolate creeper firework of course this one got the creeper face mint chocolate fades to like a cyan type thing so those are both really good those will be available for sale in the firework shop soon uh, and i've been mass producing them i think there's a thing let's see where is it here yeah right here so we got a couple of these in addition to some other ones like the Shadows, Scarlet Creeper. So we're going to be making some more of these, a lot more of these fireworks in the near future. Uh, but speaking of the shop, I'd say we go to the shop and see what's been going on there. Because people have been telling me they've been making a lot of sales. There might be a custom order or two there we have to check out. So let's head over to the shopping district. We're going to see what we got in our shop. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the fireworks shop. Let's see what we got. It looks like, uh-oh, this might be out. This was out. Okay, so first thing we got to do, we got to actually replace some fireworks in here. And we're going to use these explosive rockets to do so. So let's grab flight duration one, flight duration two, and flight duration three. And we're going to fill up the barrel here. So we just do this. And then just get all these in there like so. There we go. And then this one. Pick those up. Put those in there. There we go. These will all filter down. And then this one. If there's room, let's see. <laughs> there may not be. There we go. Fill that up. Perfect. Okay. So that's good. That should start launching some stuff again. And these are all flight duration three. So we'll just put these back in our bundle. We got to make sure that is continuously stocked. There we go. Okay, that's done. Very good. So uh, let's check out our sales now. Let's see what we got. So first of all, yes, we've at least sold a few. Okay, so we got these three. Very good. Any premiums? Yes. Premiums have sold. Very nice. No flight duration two there. Some premiums have sold here. Nice. Oh man, lots of uh, flight duration three regulars. Very good. No premiums. Anything here? Yes, we sold a premium package. This was the right at any height package for 12 diamonds. Very good. Very, very good. Let's see. And we sold two here. We sold one premium low flyer. I think Joe bought this one. And then we bought, uh, we got a high flyer also. So 47 diamonds. Very, very nice. Uh, let's just go ahead and we are going to make sure we get this added to our diamond collection. Uh, you see we are a 100 diamond business at this point. We got this uh, trophy recently. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so, that's from, uh, I think, Asuma made that. And, yeah, we were able to get the trophy because we have over 100 diamonds made. But, this is the more important thing here. So, we add five more diamond blocks to our collection. Very, very good. And, yeah, our quest to launching the firework continues here. Oh, uh, what is this? Special order request. Oh. Oh, yeah. Very good. Okay, let's check out what this is. I don't know what this is supposed to... There was a spot for special orders back here. Guess they missed this one. Oh, a second one? Ooh, fancy. All right, let's see what we got. Special order request. Cub, I need to make a special order for fireworks. I need the most deadly of fireworks to be made with the colors of hot guy. Orange and cyan. Are you up for the challenge? I'll pay, I'll pay anything for them. Let's go, hot guy. All right. So, Scar needs Scar needs some fireworks, guys. He needs some hot guy fireworks. More specifically, I think he's looking for the most deadly fireworks. So the seven breakers uh, to be made with, uh, yeah, the colors of hot guy, orange and cyan. Okay, so 
I think we can do this for him. I think we can do this for him because he wants to be able to shoot the crossbow, right? He wants to be able to do basically do this, except with the Hawkeye colors. <laughs> so I think we got to oblige him. I think we got to make this happen for him. Uh, let's go back to the factory and start to fulfill this Hawkeye firework order. All right, guys, so welcome back to the fireworks factory. We are now going to be starting to mass produce the Hawkeye fireworks. Now, I think I'm going to make actually three different types of fireworks. There's going to be one basic Hawkeye firework, one premium Hawkeye firework, and then one ultra premium Hawkeye firework. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically start off with this one. This is going to be the basic Hawkeye firework right here. No shapes, just straight up the seven... Uh, the seven orange and cyan breaks, uh, just straight up like that. And this actually does quite a bit of damage. If I actually get off my armor here and shoot this off on myself, you can see it does six hearts of damage because it has so many breaks uh, of firework. So that's pretty cool. So that's going to be the basic one. Then we have this one. This is going to be the uh, sort of like medium tier one. So this is the star shape cyan fade to white with a twinkle. So this is a little bit extra flare. Check this out. Star shape because hot guy is a star and then the twinkle at the end sort of a nice flare uh, As it sort of fades away and yeah, I don't know I, I think the uh, the white complements the cyan and the orange colors Quite nicely That's gonna be the mid tier and then we're gonna have one other additional tier That's gonna also include diamond so it's gonna trail like it'll be the same basic shape But it'll trail instead of twinkle. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Let me just eat something here so Let's start to mass produce these Hawkeye fireworks. Uh, we're going to need, obviously, some orange dye. We need some cyan dye. Uh, we'll eventually need, like, the gold nuggets for the stars and the gold glowstone for the twinkles. Then we'll have the white dye in this one. Uh, and then we'll have, you know, the, the fade effect be applied in this crafter. But we also need to unleash the power of the factory. So we're going to... Disable all these slots. So usually we have some slots like enabled uh, to limit the breaks, but in this case, Scar wants all the breaks, uh, the maximum number of breaks. So we're letting it go, and let's start to produce these things right now. Uh, one other thing I need to do for this particular version is just swap this crafter out for a hopper, and we are good to go. So let's get these things out. These are some tests that I did earlier. So, let's see what comes out here. It will take some time to produce these seven breakers because with so many breaks, you have a lot of firework stars that need to be cre created. Uh, so you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, yes. Yeah. So there's our first basic hot guy firework right there. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so... Uh, we'll wait for these things to roll in, and yeah, then we'll start the uh, production of the next couple of batches. Alright guys, production has stopped on the basic Hawkeye firework here, although we can always make more. Uh, but we have the premiums now in production, as you can see, <laughs> and quite a materials list for this one. But I think it will be well worth it in the end. You see a couple more coming in right there. But yeah, things are working well here, so we'll wait here, and then we'll produce the deluxe version. All right, everyone, the most expensive firework this factory has ever produced. Look at this, it can't even fit on the screen. It legit cannot fit on the screen. That's how expensive this firework is. So each one of these fireworks individually, each one of these three costs over two diamonds per firework, believe it or not. So these are the best of the best. <laughs> I legit cannot believe it does not fit on the screen. If I, if I move it down, will it fit? No, still no, here, still no, no. It just simply does not fit. Okay, well, we're producing it anyway. So this is the best of the best of the best. Seven diamonds per three fireworks. Uh, so yeah, this one stack of these fireworks is gonna cost like two and a half stacks of diamonds basically. So, I mean, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> uh, but that's gonna be our top tier option. Uh, and then we have the middle tier option and then the lower tier options. So we'll present, we'll, we'll go and present these to Scar once we're done with the uh, max level uh, firework. But yeah, just wanted to show that because I thought that was kind of hilarious. It doesn't even fit on the screen. <laughs>
All right, everybody, welcome back. We now have our Hot Guy fireworks created. So we got the standard edition, six stacks of those. We got the premium edition, one stack of that, and the Velocite edition, one stack of that. So expensive, it doesn't even fit on the screen. The only way to actually see the name is to look at it in a shulker box, as you can see right here, Velocite edition with the E, with the accent. So we'll be giving these to Scar soon. However, we also have been crafting up a bunch more fireworks. Hundreds and hundreds of more fireworks to keep up with the demand at the fireworks factory, or at the fireworks shop, rather. Uh, we got some multi-break, some single break, you know, a bunch of different effects and colors and all that stuff. And the good news is we actually, uh, once we had a firework come in here, we had the system automatically shut down, which uh, we had not tested before. So that works just fine there. So that's absolutely awesome. Um, so, yeah, with that done... Uh, everything is going well, except uh, since we've been crafting up so many fireworks, we might have had a little incident with our lab coat. So, yeah. Is he here? That's probably him. Let's see if he tries the hot guy. I bet he does. Can he do it? He does it. Oh, Let's go. Two and a half hearts. Two and a half hearts. I was curious, Cub. I was curious. Okay, I I I'm, I forget the hot guy and the velocity and the thorns and thinking that that would might kill me. You it looks like you would just have like a button up shirt that's kind of open. You're like super casual with that white stripe down the middle. Yeah, I had to use it to uh, yeah hide the uh, the dye stains on the jacket. <laughs> the dye stuff, dude. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Did you step on a on like, on like a paint bucket? <laughs> I've been doing a lot of crafting of fireworks, Scar. A lot of crafting of fireworks. Specifically for your custom order for the hot guy. And we have some for you, Scar. I got, I got a couple samples for you here now. Oh, I'm excited. I'm I, excited. I've made a couple of editions of the hot guy fireworks. Okay. All right. So okay. here's... I'm, I'm so excited. First one I'm going to give you is the standard edition. All right. This is your standard okay. hot guy firework. Max damage, of course. All right. Ooh, exactly what I ordered. Some okay, orange and cyan. Yep, seven breaker, seven breaker. Okay. We also got a premium breaker, breaker version. Roger. Premium version. Okay, this is a Hawkeye. Oh, it's labeled <laughs> Brock Guy Premium. Oh, wow. Little star, little twinkle, little fade, because Hawkeye, after all, is in fact a star. Is he not? That, oh, that that's so true. It, it's like a wink, right? That little twinkle is just like a classic Hawkeye wink. Exactly, yeah, and it has a little fade to it, too. Uh, and then we have this version, the Velocite Edition. This is what? beyond premium, Scar. Beyond premium. What? Oh, my gosh! <laughs> that firework, Scar, that firework costs over two diamonds per firework. Per? Per firework. Two per diamonds. firework. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, okay. So, I'm not going to use any more of those ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so here, here is the package that I have for you right here. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the name tags for each firework. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the one on the far right, Scar. It can't even, I don't know if it can fit on your screen, but it couldn't even fit on my screen. There's so much stuff on it. <laughs> no, it's insane. <laughs> oh, wow. All okay. Right. So, all right. This is fantastic. Now I he's going to get the uh, crossbow and I'll be all set. Yeah. Yeah. I got the, uh, the order for you. That is the... Oh, uh, perfect. Yeah, let me take a peek. The receipt there. Hot guy. Custom firework orders. Six stacks of standard. 18... Wait, eight, six stacks... 18 diamonds. Woo! That's all right, the, then. They're, they're not They're right. not cheap. They're not cheap. Okay. All right. I get it. Oh, wait. 20 diamonds for one stack of premium? Yep. Those are those are the expensive ones. But then... One stack of velocity. Make, make, 154 diamonds labor cost free. A total of 192 diamonds. That's oh, true, what? man. That's true. I, that, I, to be honest, I'm losing money on this as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing money just reading it. <laughs> okay. But there you um, go. There you go. What do you think? Are, is this a good deal? Is this a good deal? Is there like a hot guy discount? I'll code? tell you what. I'll tell you what. Since you have, we're one of the first customers uh -huh. at the uh, the shop, right? Yeah. What say we mark this down 50%, give you a 50% discount? Oh, that's so generous. I, you know what? That That's a generous, and you know what? I might even surprise you with a tip. Okay. All right. That sounds good, man. But trust me, these will be the best fireworks you will ever get anywhere. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um... All right, I'm I'm, do, I'm doing some math over here. Mm -hmm. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry. I, I think I have enough to cover this. Okay. Okay. It's just like when you go to the 
<laughs> the cashier and you're like counting out change. You're like, oh man, I'm gonna, I gotta get this here. This is big. Okay. All right. So, so okay. So here's seventy. So I got seventy. Okay. Um, will paying, you step over here for a moment, Cub? He's paying in installments. Okay. All right. Putting this on layaway. I see. I see. <laughs> I just used up all my diamonds in that chest. I just need to uh, <laughs> open this chest and just do a little bit of. Uh, oh, what? he's complaining about having enough diamonds. He's got a whole chest full of diamond ore. Hey, Green doesn't say I'm a cheapskate for nothing. Called me. I uh, said I was tighter than a duck's bum over here. <laughs> but um, okay, okay. So I gave you how many? Seventy. Seventy. Yep. 70. Okay, okay, okay. All right, there's 20 more. Okay. That's 90, and then six more. Six more. Okay, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, that's three. And there we go, okay. And right, then a right, tip, right. a tip, another 17. Oh, snap. Thank a you, sir. A tip for, for the good ones, yeah. Appreciate yep, that. And yep. Scar, you can have the satisfaction, the Velocite edition is the uh -huh. most expensive firework ever produced in the factory. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, slept, and that is unbelievable, Cub. Those fireworks are amazing, so thank you for making those. One more thing. One more thing. What? Oh my god. Multi-shot and everything. How, do, multi -shot. I, how do I do this? So you hold the, hold the firework in your offhand, an explosive one. Okay, here we go. Pull it back, then let it fly. Not at me! Oh, not at the ground! <laughs> Somehow I survived, That's but amazing. that was amazing. How much damage? How much damage? I have one heart left. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. So two tap that with was... the fireworks, two tap. <laughs> half a heart, half a heart with another right. <laughs> really? Yep, yep. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh, I'm going to do some horrible things with this. If I make another order, I'll pay that 197 diamonds. This is 100% worth it now that I just used that. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. You also get a discount the more you order, so like the next order will be cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So they keep really? ordering. Okay, all prices right. Go you, prices go down. Prices go down. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you, Cub. Thanks, Scar. See you. So, ladies and gentlemen, a big shout out to Scar for ordering some hot guy fireworks. I hope these serve him well in his endeavors to hot guy people on the server this season. And yeah, to be honest, I think we lost money on this transaction because <laughs> the velocity. Uh, variant was so much but it's not about the money guys it's about perpetuating the use of fireworks on the server the more people that use fireworks the better and you know if people order again the prices come down the prices come down so let's see how many diamond blocks we got to add to our collection here trying to get this big firework to light off by collecting up some diamonds let's just jump in and see what we got we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 12. We go up another layer, ladies and gentlemen. Only two more layers to go until the big firework is potentially lit and lifts off into the sky, making an even bigger, better, bolder shop here full of fireworks and goodness. So, again, thank you to Scar for uh, putting his faith in us. Hopefully his crossbow fireworks serve him well. And let's move on to something else now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the door. So, the door to the fireworks factory... I think I want to do a too deep door because the wall here itself is like two blocks deep. We got the stairs and we got full blocks. So I think it would be cool if we had the entire section of the door here just like retract into the ground. And then maybe the back section would go into the area over here a little bit. You see I've actually flattened this area to make it a little bit more easy to work with in case we needed it. Uh, I think I'm going to put it right here between the green and lime green. I think that's easy to remember. Uh, and also, more or less center. I think the exact center is between lime and white, but eh, it's fine. Uh, it's also aligned to, I believe, the... More aligned to the upper portion. Yeah, it's more aligned to the upper portion up here. So I think that will fit nicely. So what I'm thinking now is we get rid of these stairs via maybe like a slime block thing here. So I got some slime blocks out. Slime blocks out here. So we have these slime blocks here. And then maybe these retract... Like, all of these blocks, all these stairs here, even these stairs here, and then one of the concretes on top separately. And then once all these are sort of down in the ground like this, 
Then we move these blocks probably backwards because we otherwise we'd have it like connect into the slime here. So we'll probably have to move them backwards and then over like a Jeb door type thing to here. And then we'll have the thing reverse when we walk in. I want it to be totally wireless, so no buttons or anything. I think that would be cool. So we're going to use skulk sensors for this. Like when we walk up, it's going to detect us. It opens. We walk through. It detects us again underground with the skulk sensor and closes behind us. Uh, and the same going the opposite direction. I think that would be cool. I think that would be cool. So let me get some redstone down. Let's see how we can do this thing. All right, guys, so we got the first section of our door done. This is the section that's going to raise, or sorry, lower and then raise the stair section plus one concrete from each of these pillars. So check this out. We got a double piston extender here, just simply a uh, repeater on four ticks with an observer uh, going into a block. And believe it or not, this is all that it takes. So if I hit this button, boom, the door comes down right there and now the tops of the stairs are even with the what will be the ground level here so that's fantastic and then i press it again and boom it's back up how easy is that <laughs> so that's pretty nice uh so that's going to be the first part of our door then we just need to make the second part of the door with the uh pistons behind here which are going to pull out the blocks which are going to be here right there so let's work on that now all right, part two of our door is now done. So we have, again, the double piston extenders here, pulling the slime block bit down. And then we have a copper bulb that we're using as a T flip-flop to control the other part of the door, which is just a simple Jeb door uh, that I've just wired up to come, you know, from back here, basically. Um, so what should we should see happen is the copper bulb goes off, the signal here goes off, which means that the pistons here retract. These guys pull back the four blocks here, and then these pistons pull back both the pistons that are out extended now and these blocks. So let's just see if that is what happens. Let's see. Nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we obviously had to put a floor in there, but that worked. And then let's see if it puts it back. Yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Okay. So the door is working now. Uh, all we have to do now is hook it up so that we have a skulk sensor which activates from this side of the door and the opposite side. All right, everybody. So we got our door now set for this area here. So the way it works is if we step anywhere in this area here, the door will either open or close depending on which state it's in before we step in this area. So let me just demonstrate. Uh, if we come over this way... And we were walking like from our base, let's say, to the firework factory. We jump up here, jump up here, and we're walking toward the green and lime pillars, and voila, the door has opened. And now, the cool thing is the door will just remain open here indefinitely till I actually walk through, at which point it will simply close behind us as we keep walking through uh, this area. Now, if we come back this way, you know, we're leaving the factory, we walk toward the door, the door opens, and then we walk out, and door will close right behind us, just like that. So, pretty cool door. Uh, the way it works, let me just show you. I'll just go around the area where we activate it. Um, the way it works is if we dig in here, like this. There we go. Uh, so, basically, we have a redstone line here that is attached to a calibrated skulk sensor with redstone line one going into this. Uh, the calibrated skulk sensor is actually in this wool, uh, which I think that just activated the skulk sensor, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just do this and reactivate it. There we go. Um, so yeah, this thing basically detects us walking above um, and it'll only detect in a certain area because this wool is occluding it. Um, I was gonna use a skulk shrieker, so it only detected players, but the problem with these Skulk Shriekers is that they output a signal very, very quickly, and it's tough to uh, basically control when the door closes if you want to have an activation method on the opposite side, uh, which we do in this case. But I may have to redesign it depending on if there's a bunch of mobs that always activate the door from the outside. Like, we don't want that. That would be kind of annoying. Um, also, this needs to change state, I think. So let's just do that real quick there we go okay uh, and then we have 
yeah, the same thing on the opposite side. So again, single strength one leading into a calibrated skulk sensor. So that's all it is there. Um, so pretty straightforward door and I think it should be pretty useful. Uh, let's just make our way over this way and then we'll go up like this, up like that. And there we go. So yeah, that is our door. Pretty nifty little door. I think it's pretty cool and hopefully you guys do as well. So again, just closes behind us as we walk on through. And the plan is pretty much we're going to just walk through this area and then probably boost up with like some type of elevator over here. Anyways, uh, with that door done, guys, I think I'm going to have to call it an episode of for today. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Farewell.